thought I was going to make it past the 24 hour mark before dropping the bike for the first time. So, when you get stuck, basically, you have to uh, stop digging, put it on one side or the other, lift it up so you're back on the top of the soft sand, and then uh, work your way through it. So, that's what I'm about to do. You know, I thought I was going to make it past the 24 hour mark before dropping the bike for the first time, but crash bars did well. I actually didn't drop the bike. I got bogged down in sand and I put it on its side so I could get off. And then uh, you can see this the side that I sort of twisted it around on. I tried twisting the other side, but ran into some sagebrush. So no scratches on the paper. Once again, it wasn't really a, a fall. It was more of a set it on its side so I could pick up the rear end and get it on to get it out of the rut that it was in. But really no paint damage or anything like that. Crash bars work. Um, and they do, do what they're designed to do. So I mean this is why you buy one of these bikes. Not for Starbucks, but so on the way home from work. You could go into the, the back country and avoid the traffic. Uh, I am sure 100% that the bike is more capable than the rider. <laughs> 